So pushing for a committee that can compel all senators to prove they are not dual citizens. Our nation leader Pauline Hanson will fly into Queensland today to help with campaigning for the state election. Sunrise correspondent Gillian Whiting joins us this morning. Good morning to you Gillian. Now Pauline's arrival comes a week after the snap poll was called. Yes, good morning. Uh, Pauline was a bit cranky that the election was called while she was out of the country in India on a trade mission, but no doubt she'll more than make up for it with uh, the campaign set to run for another three weeks. Even though she hasn't been in the country, One Nation has continued to haunt uh, both uh, major parties. And you can see why when you see the results of the most recent Galaxy poll taken a few days ago, which has One Nation support on 18% of the primary vote. However, the poll also uh, says that a majority majority of Queenslanders, 53 per cent, even higher among Labor voters, believe that Queensland will be taken backwards if One Nation is put in a position of power. So you can see this is a bit tricky for the leaders. They've been asked almost daily, would they form a minority government with One Nation? The Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk has said absolutely not. The LNP leader Tim Nichols has uh, yet to rule it out. So when Paulina hits the campaign today, likely to be in the uh, regions where she has the greatest uh, support, she'll hit the ground running. The LNP leader, Tim Nichols, has been on the Gold Coast. He's expected to announce a power policy today, uh, revealing big cuts for families. And the Premier, Anastasia Palaszczuk, rather, was on the Gold Coast. Also last night, a glamorous uh, Commonwealth Games event where they revealed the new look uh, medals for the Games early next year. But it's going to be a tight race. Uh, the two-party preferred polling has uh, the Premier just ahead on 50 OK, thanks for that. Gillian Whiting there for us this morning. The White House has confirmed President Donald Trump